Hey guys, David Lemon here, and I just wanted to let you know the changes we deployed to GrooveMember. There are some things that we added, improved, and fixed, and I just wanted to show you what those are. If we navigate over to GrooveMember, if we come to Content, Memberships, here in the Actions button, we added on an option which says Login As. If you click Login As, you can impersonate admins or you can log in as an admin quickly to the membership or you can impersonate members and if you want to impersonate a specific member then you just type in their email address over here and then you can impersonate that member if we just have a look quickly we click on the admin and login as admin we click the login button we have a look how the admins see the stuff from their end so this is what the admins will see in the membership and then we can uh, we can go and have a look uh, pretty quickly without the need of actually going out on a new tab, uh, typing in the URL, logging in and things like that. It's just a one click now with actions, log in, then you choose actually who you want to log in as. So that's a, a pretty big feature and I really love it. If we go into the actions and edit, we added on in the design section, we added on an option that allows you to choose a favicon. So now you can manage your favicon, these little icons in the in the tabs, and you can manage how they show up. It needs to be 16 by 16 pixels, and then you can choose an image from your own image library that is connected to every other Groove app as well. It's a pretty small change, but it's, uh, it's drastically changing how things uh, work from the from the user's perspective. But we added on a big change, which I wanted to talk about a little bit longer, which is called the common component. So the common component is something that when you load in the membership from the GrooveMember.net side of things, which is when you actually log into the membership, then you see some of these things we're will be changing and this is most of the time the content the navigation is not changing a lot it's staying common on each and every page where you're visiting where you're consuming the content so the instructor settings are staying the completion and the progress bar and this may be featured image and also the outline so this doesn't need to change but the content needs to change this is what we improved over here with the common component functionality so in case I want to go to a different a different section just to preview different content this section doesn't need to change but the content changes and this increases also the speed of loading uh, things in the groove member uh, side of things so I'm very very happy with this deployment as you can see things uh, don't require that uh, slow loading uh, animation that we had previously but it just quickly jumps from uh, from content to content so there is a massive improvement if we build on top of that not only that the speed is now quicker but it also is responsive so if I just make it smaller as a mobile you can see that the, that the whole membership is now responsive I will just make it a little bit taller so that you can see um, if we click on this little hamburger menu this will give us the membership outline so the customers or the visitors that are uh, that are consuming the the content from the membership can click over here and uh, jump from section to section over here if you click on this little down arrow it will give you the the level that the customer is on or the visitor is on the settings and they can also log out from here the progress bar stays on the top the content comes in the middle and then below that there are the mark as complete and the previous buttons another outline and instructor settings so now the user's point of view is mobile responsive and then you can uh, visit it from any device that you want which is a big change and it was frequently requested and now it is available not only the speed is increasing but also the layout of how things uh, show up um, also one big change that we added on is when you were using groove video or any kind of other embeds like a groove cell embed on the on the actual membership um, so in the membership content there were a big chunks of CSS that were getting added for for no reason now our team fixed that issue and now the CSS is getting uh, minimized so that the page is loading fast and they only load the content that is actually needed so there's that ladies and gentlemen I hope you like your, uh, like these changes for Groove member these were pretty considerable changes from the infrastructure point of view but I'm 100% sure that you are going to like it and also your customers will like these so let me know in the comments what you think about this